एम जी एम सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल आई एक्सप्रेस माई सिंसियर ग्रेटिट्यूड फॉर हैविंग इन्वाइटेड मी टू रिप्रजेंट आर स्कूल सर आर स्कूल इज द ओल्डेस्ट स्कूल इन भलाई वी आर फिफ्टी फिफ्टी सेवन ईयर ओल्ड इंस्टीट्यूशन and we have three more sister concerns here so totally something around 12000 students are getting the benefit from our schools having said that the second part again i would like to thank madam viva jha for her great hospitality personally i had two specific experience to quote the first flying squad assignment i got the privilege to have it with madam vibhaja and i could very well acknowledge the fact that she is a very ardent learner a very knowledgeable person person and a very meticulous planner i also had an opportunity to do an affiliation visit also along with madam and there also i could find great qualities and today's function is a great proof the individual importance and attention given to each and every principal and through our through us our school is getting represented that is that is to be acknowledged thank you madam thank you again uh much has been talked and discussed about the examination term 1 term 2 and uh, the group has done a wonderful job but i would like to take the august gathering to a sort of a paradigm shift i think most of you will agree that the nation gets built in the classroom so i'm thankful that we have the new education policy national education policy which has come into four which has come into implementation part so we have a bigger responsibility आई टेक द परमिशन फर्स आपने बोला था लाइटर मोमेंट रखना तो थोड़ा सा <laughs> एक सीरियस की तरफ जा रहा हूँ तो मुझे माफ कीजिएगा बट ऑफकोर्स दिस इज ए ग्रेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई थ्रू आर ओ सर आई वुड थैंक द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग सच ए फ्रेमवर्क नाउ वी हैव मोर क्लैरिटी विद रिगार्ड टू what exactly we should do in different domains of working of a school be it the curriculum or pedagogy be it the inclusive practices be it the leadership the management and governance now we know what to do and how to do and most important through this uh, document called school quality assessment and assurance framework we are also able to do a judgment with regard to finding the as it is position as on date where we stand and when we have a quantified approach we can gauge ourselves as we grow and after a point of time say 6 month or an year we are in a position to judge in which areas we have gaps and how we should improve the student profile which we have provided is a wonderful thing previously the conventional reports with very minimal parameters we are not speaking the complete the flair of a student is a student is having so now we are able to ensure that ensure and harness the genius in every child so each principal i feel each principal through their teachers have a bigger responsibility 
to identify the genius in every child. So all put to all put together, like the parental engagement and all the the systems. I mean, now we are uh, bent upon, or we are required to think about a systems approach. The utilization of technology part, an apt systems which speaks about end-to-end -end solutions. So I am again thankful that such a framework has come which was very much the need of the hour and uh, and we have implementing this at ground level i can see the smiles in the faces of the teachers when now they are able to design their lesson plan in a much better way with a focused manner with giving appropriate importance to the curriculum and especially the pedagogy which is relevant to that particular class. So we are doing intensive training for our students. We are uh, actually educating our parents. We are having regular orientation with the parents. So we have, we think we have a long way to go with a pragmatic approach, I believe in the coming years. Uh, we would be able to become one of the modern schools in this region. Through you, sir, I would like to request if it is possible, like uh, as an encouragement, like it happens in higher educational institutions, as it is mentioned in chapter number eight of NEP policy, it speaks about accreditation. Now, if we are able to give more importance to this concept with certain bonuses, like uh, maybe, uh, like I, I, as I understand for higher education institutions, you can have increased fees, okay, with the kind of uh, an objective assessment. So all this put together, if we are, if you are able to facilitate us with a kind of a more organized school improvement plan, we can go a long way and especially as we see here, Bilai is an educational hub and it is a bank of competent professionals. We can be a model city for the other cities and uh, I hope we can, again as I said, we can go a long way. So I'll end with, I end my talk saying that we are trying to create a concern among among our teachers, like as it is said, Zindagi na miler dobara. So likewise, the formative years of a child na miler dobara. It is a fact. The NEP speaks about that. What is to be taught at a particular age, at a particular in a particular class, is very very relevant. So we have to feel that concern that we should not miss that opportunity and utilize every moment of interaction with our students to get the maximum. With that, thanks again, sir. Thank you for allowing me to express my viewpoint. And it is not my viewpoint. It is the viewpoint of our school. Thank you once again. Thank you once. Once again to one another. Thank you very much.